Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and early, 3 a.m. here, 3.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, let me fill you in. Let me give you the 411. Yesterday, I didn't do a video, and there's a very good reason why. I wasn't too busy. I wasn't a family emergency. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't having a mental, <laughs> mental breakdown or anything. I decided not to do an, a, a second video. I felt, I felt so strongly about the last video I did. I, I got to be I, again. I'm very surprised. I'm extremely surprised that uh, YouTube did have did not have a problem with any of the terms. I had to use the terms I had to use. YouTube did not have a problem with any of it, and that that amazed me. All right. Uh, I felt so strongly about that video. I wanted it to sit there. A lot of times when I do a second video, especially if I do two videos in one day, the first one will get overshadowed. I'll see the views just drop right as soon as I post the second video. The first view, the views for the first one will just stop. And uh, I didn't, you know, even even if I did a, another video the next day, I did not want, I felt so strongly about that video that I did the last video that I, I did, I wanted it to get viewed. I wanted it to sit there. I wanted it to to ferment, to to get viewed. Now, as you guys know, my obsessive compulsive personality, I, I, I did not even look at the views. I didn't look at the comments or anything until uh, about two minutes ago. I pulled it up. I, it was like a big surprise. Did it do good? Did it, did it just get 50 views? Did it get 2,000 views? It got 800 views, which isn't bad. I didn't really look at the comments yet, and I'm going to do that today. All right. Like I said, I felt strongly and I wanted it to get viewed and that's why I didn't do a video. Very, very unusual that I did. I just chose not to do a video yesterday. And if I was going to, I thought about it. If I was going to do a video, it was going to be a part two because I still, there was still so much I wanted to talk about. A lot of times when you do, for some reason, when you do a part one and part two with YouTube, you, you don't get paid for two. You only get paid for one. And there's issues with it. I, I, I don't know those. I'm still learning about all this, even a couple of years into this. But anyway, all right. Now, exactly, it, it's it's going exactly as I thought. Uh, I'm going to have a link down below. It, it talks about, I think it's from the L LGBTQ magazine or uh, website, and there's other websites too. But this one, this one shows two sides of this. Very, very. I like the way they show it. Uh, Jen Psaki, uh, I, I can't remember her official title, the, the PR person for Biden. And uh, yesterday, she was questioned. I, I don't know which reporter questioned her, but she, the, the reporter asked, "Is there are there free is is Biden is this administration handing out actual free smoking accessories?" No. Ha were they initially? But they changed it because of the whole hubbub. No, no. It, 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 it was lip balm, uh, alcohol swabs, cleaning supplies, and this was to deal with it specifically for HIV and hepatitis. And I talked about that. I talked about that just in my last video. You know, fifth, over 15 years ago, when I was using, I used to write, I, I talked about a specific instance where I had been up all night or whatever using partying whatever and the person let me know you know hours or days into this this run as we call it or call it uh that she had hepatitis and this freaked me out because i had been cheering spit more or less with uh this person for hours days and i was scared like I told you guys, knock on wood, I got lucky. I, I don't, I never had any of that stuff. And I, I don't know why, and I thank God I didn't. But Jen Psaki, in this article down below, says specifically that alcohol swabs, lip balms, like uh, lip balm that sterilize, you know, cleans and sterilizes the lips, specifically for the fears, what I was talking about, with sharing smoking accessories. I, I'm glad. I'm glad they're doing this. Um, okay. And then the other side of this article. This is where I got so angry again this morning. Lauren, good old Lauren Bobart. You're gonna. You know. You know when something like this pops up. You got to hear the the mouth of ignorance. 
uh, speaking of ignorance, I got to talk about that. I got to just briefly talk about Marjorie Taylor Greene, Gestapo, Gaspacho, Gestapo, Gaspacho. Look, you guys know I make a lot of mistakes on here. I admit it. But something like that, you know, the way she said that, I don't think she even knows the difference between the two words. I don't think it was a mistake. And this person, I don't think, is she the one that never graduated from high school? No, that's Lauren Bobart, who I'm going to talk about right now. This is exactly why I, what I feared. Down below, I'm going to have links. Lauren Bobart fired off about at least five, five different tweets. Uh, and one, she talks about Hunter Biden, of course, because she's got to make fun of a recovering addict. Somebody that's doing good in life, making is recovered from drug addiction, which is one of the hardest things on earth to do. The one of the, the hardest things I would the hard the hardest thing I've ever done in my life and st am still doing. And she had to make fun of it, make it a big joke. Ha ha, it's a funny word, C pipe. And Hunter Biden, ha ha, you know, he, he's a he's an ad, he's a he's a sea head. Uh, you know, was this Hunter Biden's idea? Ah, funny, you know. See, that's ex that's exact, you know, and. Yeah, Hunter Biden is the president's son and everything, but he's a recovering addict. And uh, this is exactly what I was talking about. How people that are, you know, Hunter Biden, I can, I can identify with him. It's not easy. Uh, and the people that are recovering, like me, are the only people, we're the only ones that give hope. When I was struggling to get clean, the only thing that gave me hope were the people that I saw that were actually doing it because I thought it was impossible. People like me, people like Hunter Biden. And when she does stuff like this, when she makes fun of anybody, even if it's the president's son, even if it's Hunter Biden, she does all people trying to recover a disservice. That's exactly what I was afraid of. Now, for something that has ticked me off for a long time, on Facebook for years, I have seen this ongoing thing with posts, a lot, most of the time they're Trump supporters, Republicans, or conservatives. And they'll post some, some form of this where they say, how come addicts get free methadone and insulin and people, diabetics, have to pay for insulin? And, okay, as you guys know, I, I was on methadone, all right? And let me tell you this. I'll get into that in a second. The question is, the question isn't even who's paying for it and who's not. What this is doing is, is making the addict the bad guy. Like the person that, it, once again, the person that's struggling to, to get into recovery with methadone is all of a sudden stealing services from a poor diabetic that was just born with this disease. So the, the, the recovering addict here, they're, they're painting it like the recovering addict is the bad person that's stealing services or money or whatever from this poor person that was just born with this disease. Now, this is a lie. This Think about it. A lot of times, Republicans, Trump supporters, you know, they, they support insurance industries. And I, I truly believe this is, this is part of a bigger conspiracy just to pit patients, people suffering from one disease, people suffering from another disease, and pit them against each other while they sit back and rake in the money. That's what I see happening here. Lauren Bobart again brings this up. Well, how come insulin? She says something. The tweets down below. She says something about insulin, but yet they're handing out pipes. Um, and again, that's that is not true. For all the people, for all the comments, I haven't even read them yet. But for all those people in the last video, and I'm shy, I'm willing to bet any amount of money that there's a whole boatload of people that. Put comments that, yeah, oh, I know for a fact Biden's handing out pipes. I read it. I saw it online. Yay, Donald Trump, mega, blah, blah, blah. Guaranteed. No, no, never was the plan. It's not the plan. Um, so, again, Lauren Bobart puts this, 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 this ongoing distraction out there about insulin and methadone. Let me tell you this. Uh... I, I went through two back surgeries. I actually ruptured a disc. The disc broke and a part of it moved up my back when I was a truck driver. I was carrying two big bundles of wood and the, the disc broke and the doctor sent me back to work and the, the disc actually moved up my back against my nerves and I lost use of my left leg. 
I had two surgeries. I was on disability for a short time. I then, I went to school. I got retrained. I covered my last name here. Very proud of this. It's a, uh, it's for uh, mechanical and electric, electric, electronic CAD technology. And I went back to school for that. I graduated in uh, March of 2002. Now I was in treatment in 2006 and I was working and I had to pay for back when I went through treatment at one of these clinics, one of these methadone clinics, I remember paying $60 a week. And that was 15 years ago. So God knows what it is today. Um, here's the thing, I looked it up too. Diabetics can get free insulin, can get discounted insulin. There's programs for that. This is all a lie, just a pit. This is all just, just a smoke screen. To pit people to pit people on the lower rungs of the ladder against each other. People that are suffering from one disease, people are from suffering from another disease, diabetics and addicts, and pit them against each other and make one the bad guy. Well, the true bad guy sits back and just watches the argument. That's, that's what this is all about. And then people on Facebook just perpetuate this. Yeah, how come this and how come that? And it's, first of all, it's, it's another untrue story. I'll put all the links down below. All right, I see I ran long. I, I still have so much to talk about this. You guys have a great Friday. I'll be back later with another video.